We focus on Shelton this morning. I have two great guests in studio. City Manager Ryan Wheaton and Public Works Director Craig Gregory. Morning, guys. Good morning, Jeff. Some big doings, uh, meetings and things of that nature coming up with the city and big impacts to the residents of the city. Uh, there is a meeting on Monday and Wednesday of next week. So let's start with Monday's meeting. And what are we going to be talking about? Who is uh, who? Who are the folks that you want to see there to answer the questions? We want to see anybody that has concerns about water and sewer rates so that they can get some information along with the commission. We brought in a consultant that worked on water and sewer rates a few years ago, and the commission updated our capital improvement plan to really refocus our energy around the capital improvements that will be made, the sewer upgrades and the water upgrades that will be made to infrastructure over the next few years. And we wanted to take a look at the plan for our rate models, our rate structure going forward. And we, we really put out the next six years in this plan. And the plan is actually available now. So we also want to give people as much time as possible. We have that up now on our website. You can also link to it on our Facebook page and take a look at what will be presented on Monday. And on Monday at our regular uh, study session, our consultant from FCS group that did the study will be on hand to oh, answer good. questions and provide a presentation to the commission. But we also want to make sure that everybody in town has an opportunity. So we're bringing her back at five o'clock on Monday at the Civic Center. You'll have Craig, Brent Armstrong, and some other folks that actually do the operations side to answer questions after the presentation. We'll have the commission on hand, and we'll also have the consultant there to provide information about the details of what these rates may look like and what some options are for the commission to consider. They're not going to vote on anything Monday, likely, but we want to give everybody a chance, and the public at 5 o'clock will have a chance to ask questions specifically about operations of the water and sewer and also about what these rates look like and how we got to where we are now. Can you give us a little background, either Craig or you, Ryan, on how we got to where we're at now for the need for these things? Yeah, a little over a decade ago, the city was in a difficult situation with its sewer, had a moratorium on building because of the capacity for the sewer, did a good amount of upgrades and, and really focused on the wastewater treatment plant, not necessarily for capacity, but Correct. to prepare us for capacity now Craig and his team are getting ready to do a project that ties into that. But we have about $44 million in debt mm -hmm. in the city. A little over 90% of that is sewer debt. Wow. And unfortunately, when you have a lot of debt in one area, that area is going to bear the brunt of that debt. And so we're paying off a lot of money. And I think that's what people see reflected in their sewer rates. You will see in this presentation and the one that's posted online, you'll see a comparison of us for water for regional cities. You'll also see the same for us in the sewer. And then we added a second slide to show people a comparison between the city of Shelton and other cities that have done major upgrades to their wastewater treatment facilities. So it's the water single family bill comparison on your PDF yeah, there. So currently it. we're at about $29.24. And that does sit kind of right in the middle there. And uh, it looks like into next year, $32. So a slight increase, but well under Yelm. That, yeah, that's a potential. That okay. That's what is being projected by the consultant. Uh -huh. And then sewer, again, you'll see the comparison from those cities. The, unfortunately for us in that comparison, the, those cities haven't all done major upgrades. And so we also included other cities that have done major upgrades. So you can see kind of the before and after what happens when a city takes on projects like we've taken on for the last 10 years. What kind of upgrades are we talking about, Craig? What was in the ground? What was removed and replaced uh, pipe-wise? I'd heard stories of you know, old pipes and bailing wire pretty much, <laughs> and the now the most current technologies? Well, really the major part of the debt came from not what was in the ground, but what was above the ground down at the wastewater treatment plant. It okay. was upgrades to that uh, facility. Um, but we have done some sewer basins, uh, some projects out there, but really technology going from the old leaky pipes that were maybe concrete pipes that were in four to six foot chunks, uh, sections that were just butted together wow. uh, and getting uh, groundwater in through those uh, and now uh, sealing all of those connections up with PVC pipe uh, and with, that are gasketed um, and don't allow anything to get in or out uh, of that system. Oh, nice. Very nice. So this meeting Monday will affect everybody in the city. It will. Yeah. Anybody that pays a water sewer bill. And like I mentioned before, when you asked who we want to come, we want anybody concerned with this. We hear it a lot. People stop us on the street and ask about it. 
at events, people talk to us about water and sewer rates. We're figuring them out along with everybody else. And this is an opportunity for people to come down, not just hear what the options are moving forward and the rationale behind them, but also to ask questions that they may have had for the last few years about water and sewer in the city. And then upcoming Wednesday is another conversation important to put on their calendar. What's going on Wednesday? Wednesday is the discussion about the design for the downtown connector project, which is the Alder Street from 1st to C Street at yeah. the top of the hill. Okay. And this isn't just for the citizens of Shelton. This is for really the entire community. Um, we really want to hear from everybody out there that drives that roadway. Um, we know that it's it's widely used. Um, not just by residents of Shelton, but the entire Mason County. Mm -hmm. So we w really want to see everybody get out to that meeting and, and voice their opinions and, and tell us what they want to see. Because really that's what our ultimate goal is, is to give the, the people of Shelton and Mason County really what they want. This would be a, a major facelift to that road and that stretch of road. We talked about this last week uh, with potential additions to with bus stops for mm -hmm. folks, uh, uh, better access in and out of the library area for people all the way up through the hill. So that is a very heavily traveled roadway, too, for folks coming in and out of the community. So both of these Monday, Wednesday, both at the Civic Center. What are the times? Mondays at 5. And Wednesdays at 6 o'clock. All right. Very good. Good information and important. We'll put the links to these uh, events and these uh, documents when we post this interview here on uh, our Facebook page here this morning. So that's our focus on Shelton. Anything else to pass along from? Just if the, the citizens of Shelton could do us a favor with all of the rain coming, the leaves on the ground, if you see a storm drain that's uh, plugged up, uh -huh. if you could just kick the leaves off of that. And we are going to post a map of all of the storm drains to the city website. So if you have a question of where there's a drain near your house, um, you'll be able to go to that and take a look at it. That'll be up tomorrow. Um, so everybody can go look at that and see where they actually have a storm drain. But any help that they can give would sure. be uh, much appreciated out there. That is a good, that's a good note. I try to do that in my neighborhood. Uh, I see a bunch of these poolings of water and boy, it's just, yeah. We'll and then, so what happens? So it's all covered. You're not getting any water flow. And then all of a sudden, Either somebody cleans it out or then it rushes through. Does that put potential strain on the system there or it's just water? Not water? typically. Usually we have enough capacity to take all of that water uh, unless it's a major rush. But uh, usually those smaller pools of water, uh, our system can handle all of that. So, yeah, just knock those leaves off and, and get those puddles to to disappear for us. Water, water, no leaves going down those no pipes. Leaves. <laughs> Very nice. Craig, Ryan, good to see you guys. Likewise. Have a Thanks. good rest of your day here, and uh, we'll see you this upcoming week.